With Nigeria is going through the hardest times in the nation's history, what solution is there to the economic woes facing the country? Annually, every 4th of February, the World Cancer Day is celebrated worldwide. Today on The Breakfast, we'll discuss fighting cancer with a focus on global observance. We'll look at what the papers are saying this morning in other press as we bring you the headlines on the front page of today's national dailies. And we're back to the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's a brand new week, uh, a week to face the battle <laughs> of living in Nigeria. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ibukbo. It's good to have you join us this beautiful Monday morning. All right. Messi, how are you surviving? Uh, <laughs> how you are you? To... How are you, my friend? Uh, <laughs> how was the weekend for you? And um, so, Kofi, are you looking forward to this I mean, week? I think that this, yeah. this, is, this is a time where a lot of people need to take, you know, like you have to self-care. You have to be very deliberate. Uh, everywhere you go, this people are complaining and ranting. You know, you go to the market, everyone seems to be beat up, people are angry, and you can't stop to get all of the negative energy, the complaints, and what have you. So you practically have to be deliberate to say, hey, I'm not going to let this get me into a point of anxiety, and what have you. So you have to keep your thoughts together. So you went you to have the to market yourself, this weekend? I didn't go last to the weekend. market, but my point is, in the course of the conversation, <laughs> I don't understand. I hardly hear you why, 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 why yeah. do you, but we, we don't get to talk about markets now. Okay. Do we get to talk about markets okay. on the okay. show? Well, well, the first trendy, I mean, I mean, there's only one thing trending uh, in, in Nigeria today. Um, that happens to be the economy, you know, the economy. But before then, uh, just a quick, a quick touch on the politics. Uh, this was late, late yesterday. Um, of course, Dogara, Yakub Dogara, former speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, was trending. The reason he was trending was because um, of uh, a, a tweet um, by uh, Fessus Kiyamu, uh saying that uh, the president had uh, endorsed Bola Timbu, you know, in Nasarawa State at a rally, you know, because there was some sort of confusion as to whether, you know, the president was supporting the APC candidate, and some people say he doesn't have his back. So it was a big deal for supporters of Bola Timbu yesterday, and then uh, it was a back and forth between uh, uh, Fessus Kiyamu and Yakubu Dogara, who, of course, uh, told Fessus Kiyamu after Fessus called him a political prostitute. Okay, he now replied Fessus's tweet because Yakubu had said um, Buhari's uh, endorsement of uh, Tin was a satire. You know, it was a satire, and uh, Fessus called Dogara a political prostitute. And then um, uh, Dogara replied, "You're not. Uh, I would have spoken to you if at least you won a councillorship election. We are not political mates." And uh, of course, uh, uh, Fessus had to reply him, "Well." We may, not, we may not be political mates in terms of winning an election, but at least I'm your senior at the bar. And it went on and on, and Nigerians were, you know, enjoying, <laughs> enjoying it, you know. So the, 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 there's a lot of tension, um, I just had to touch on that, because it's just showing that we have political tension as well as economic tension in the country. But talking about the economy, one of the uh, uh, people, uh, groups talking, really, is a political party called the Socialist Party of Nigeria. Merci, have you heard of Socialist Party of Nigeria before? Yes, I have heard okay, of it. Socialist Party of Nigeria. Yes. I, I had to go and check to be sure, because, you know, you know, some parties with the registers, I had to be sure, because I've not heard, who is a presidential candidate? Are you sure we have them? You know, anyway, uh, they, they condemn the ongoing economic um, uh, hardship and social hardship uh, witnessed uh, by Nigerians under the Muhammad Buhari administration, and they're calling for a mass resistance uh, to re reverse the situation, all right? I'm sure they want to see people to come out, uh, you know, talking about how it's hard to uh, get banknotes in access cash for daily transactions and the whole fuel supply situation. I mean, inflation at 21%. I was saying to myself, how come it worked this morning? That, uh, that inflation at 21% may even be a scam <laughs> because a lot of things have gone up, sometimes 100%, you know. So um, they issued a statement on Saturday, and uh, uh, they are saying that um, they welcome the Socialist Party of Nigeria. Uh, they welcome pockets of protests across the country, in some cities across, across the country. They want to see more. So they are calling on Nigerians to come out en masse and uh, embark on mass action. Remember what we saw in Edo State. But 
more, especially in Benin, in Ibado, the capital of um, or your state, where it went a bit violent, you know, with a uh, irate youth attacking a particular bank uh, in the capital of your state and blocking roads and all that. Uh, the latest reports we hear one person died from that clash in Oyo State because the security agents had to go curtail it and we hear one person uh, died. That's from Premium Times. So what they're saying, this is the Socialist Party of Nigeria is saying, is that they're calling on trade unions, pro masses organizations, uh, etc., to provide coordination and leadership by initiating a program of mass activities, including protests and 24-hour general strike to demand an immediate three-month extension of the bank no turnover period and agitate uh, uh, provision of petrol at the current official price. So they want the the uh, Naira swap or the Naira deadline, old Naira deadline, to be extended by three months. Uh, so that's all we have. Mercy, what are your thoughts on this? It's quite interesting. I'll, I'll talk about this later. Yeah, yeah so um, first of all, I, I think that uh, the Social Democratic Party, if I got that correctly. Socialist Party of Socialist Nigeria. Party of so Nigeria. That's why I asked you if you, you've heard of this party. No, I, I, I have heard of this party. I mean, Kofi, there, you know, there are several parties. One of those parties you, you're, you're here. You know, you no, know no, STP, you know Labour Party, you know PDP, no, you know APC. No, so Kofi, you know that, you know, the, the kind of system that we operate, uh, we have a multi-party system. But unfortunately, it, it seems like we're pr practicing a two-party system. And this is, you know, one of the questions. But some people want to begin to make a comparison between Nigeria and, you know, if you look at mm. developed democracies, you ask yourself, what exactly is it? I mean, uh, for those, you know, these countries, you still find out that people shuttle between this other party and the other party. That's what it is. So these parties are there. I mean, I remember in 2019, uh, the social, I have to say that, social party, so socialist party. Socialist party. Thank you so much. The SPN. Uh, they didn't file a candidate. There were about you know eighteen of this candidate, nineteen of them, who didn't file in uh, candidate for the presidential elections. And that's exactly what happened. But of course, uh, you know, twenty twenty three elections. You have several parties who are vying for political offices. But you know, to come to the crux of the conversation is that I think that the Socialist Party of Nigeria is acting, you know, and doing the beating of an opposition party. That's exactly what it is. But there also might be questions as to, you know, if uh, this is, you know, the time in terms of, I mean, when you look at it, you begin to ask yourself, uh, this is the right time. When was the last time you heard of this party? I mean, have they been very vocal? Because the major role of opposition party in any government, which is very critical, is that it helps check the activities of the party in power with a view to pointing out where they're going wrong, looking at their excesses and what have you. And I think that, you know, the Socialist Party of Nigeria is acting in that, you know, regard. That's exactly what opposition does. But we have over time asked and queried whether we have opposition in Nigeria. I mean, for the past eight years, you ask yourself, is there an opposition party, including the major opposition party that you should have? That's the People's Democratic Party. it has been a lot of questions. And some people say, hey, uh, that's not the case. But I think that that's what it is. And if you also look at the consents, uh, it's fine to have people protest. But it's also, you know, the responsibility. That's why you have the opposition party. It's very critical in any democracy because uh, that's, that's really where you begin to pressure in. And not necessarily politics here, but you begin to point out what you're not doing right. And it, it helps them, you know, in check. And you want to ask yourself, if, we, if Nigerians are complaining about the APC, what has the role of the opposition been so far from the past eight years? <laughs> what have these political parties done, including the major political party and every other party? Because they are all in the opposition. And so what have they really done? How come all of this has gone on? I mean, how come um, if you say that the APC has not fared well, has not driven Nigeria well, but how far, uh, how come, you know, they haven't done well? In, in, the term, in terms of saying uh, the APC is sitting back and putting their acts together. Because the role that the opposition plays is what gets the other party, the ruling party, to sit back and put her acts together. But that's not the case. And yes, protest is a tool, like I always say, that has been used by different, uh, you know, government in different climes, climes to demand, uh, you know, good governance. 
So people actually get out to protest, protest different policies, what have you. I mean, there's also a recent video that I saw, uh, in, you know, where people are protesting the economic situation in the United Kingdom. And that's it. So protest is, it's important. But what we are also seeing is that uh, some people take advantage of the system. I mean, the protests become very violent where you have people looting. So yes, if, if Nigerians are going to protest, it's okay. But if people are going to go out to begin to destroy, loot, and, um, you know, cause mayhem, and just, you know, further destroy the economy, then that's not it. That's not protest. So I, I'm, I'm just hoping that at this point, we're in a very critical situation, and I think that those who are speaking uh, to power, are speaking truth and what have you, should be very careful. So people don't misquote all of this and uh, begin to act indiscriminately. But it's also expected that the law and those who are saddled with executing the law would be responsible, maintaining the law, peace and order, especially the police, who, you know, will be right at it and all of that. So we will continue with this conversation. But, but, but Kofi, I'm more concerned about where has the opposition been so far? You know, eight years and counting, right? Mm. Uh, um, Mercy, so, so it, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's very in interesting what's going on. Um, there, there's some dots that we can connect, and uh, just like to quickly connect those dots. Um, I think all our training stories today have to do with uh, uh, what do you call again, uh, the narrow scarcity crisis, <laughs> we want to call it that. And of course, the fuel supply uh, of fuel scarcity crisis, we want to call it that. So um, we have the APC on one hand, we have the PDP. Uh, this is political season, so we cannot divorce the political parties from the economic situation uh, in the country because the conversation is political. So who do we vote for uh, in the next election? Um, of course, uh, the All Progressives Congress, in its, uh, through its presidential candidate, had been calling uh, for, um, you know, saying there's a sabotage at play. And some people are trying to scuttle his chances of winning the election by ensuring that there is no fuel by ensuring that uh, we don't have uh, cash because this will put the government in bad light. And if they put, it puts the government in bad light, of course, people would pro vote in protest, what they call protest vote against him. I mean, it's kind of the APC ruling party. Um, the, the, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party last week, um, uh, Atiku Abubakar, had come out to say the CBN should not extend the deadline uh, for the old Naira notes from February 10, they should not because according to him, um, it's going to encourage vote, vote buying if they extend that deadline. Then we had Malam Nasser Erol Fai, who is in the inner conclave of uh, the APC presidential candidate, Bolatin, who coming out and, and to say that, um, uh, you know, to criticize Atika Waka for calling, uh, making that call, saying people like him are not feeling the pains that Nigerians are feeling and that's why there he's calling for that extension not to be or the deadline not to be extended and of course uh, Tiku had to reply that the reason why Erufai, Atinbu and other APC stalwarts were you know calling on the central bank to extend the deadline was because um, they, it was not politically convenient for the policy to be implemented and for the deadline not to be extended and for political purposes they were calling for that deadline and um, so it went back and forth but the, the, you're talking about the opposition, you know, Mercy, uh, and how opposition parties should approach this particular uh, um, policy and what's going on now. Interestingly, last night at about 7.40 p.m., the presidential candidate of the uh, uh, of Labour Party, which is the fastest rising opposition party in Nigeria, um, I mean, some poll that we saw over the weekend put that party ahead. Um, of course, the APC has come out to reject that poll. Um, he says... In a tweet, quote, the, he came out to tell Nigerians categorically for the first time that he supports the CBN policies and Nigerians need to bear because the policies are well intended. This is what he says. The currency redesign is not peculiar to Nigeria, quote. Okay? Uh, it is an exercise that comes with some inconvenience and pain, but it has significant long-term economic and social benefits. We told me, right? Even though there are improvements that can be made, he says, it an exercise that comes with some inconvenience, mercy and pain, but it has significant long-term economic and social benefits. Uh, it says, I urge Nigerians to bear with the CBN and federal government with the hope that the general populace in Nigeria will, have, will harvest rather, uh, the gains that will come with the reforms. Uh, you know, it's what he said. So that's uh, an endorsement of any uh, support. He's taking a stance. Now, some people could say a socialist part of Nigeria, what game are they playing? 
because we've seen a particular section of the polity uh, asking for the CBN to extend the deadline. We've seen a particular section of the polity saying we are not in support of this, maybe because it does not support their political aims. I mean, and people have come out to say, you look at WK, for instance, yes, we governor of River State, during a campaign rally at some part of, of River State over last week, you know, saying that Nigerians are suffering, the masses are suffering, saying, oh, um, uh, you know, this is not affecting me. It says I already have my campaign money. I planned everything already. But that's a, that's a, is that not an indictment? <laughs> Self-indictment. But let's leave that for another day. You know, but it affects you. The man, are you not suffering? Are you not suffering? He was asking. But you know, some are saying, when did politicians in this country, especially of ABC and PDP, the major politicians we know, the governors inclusive, when, where, did, since when did they start becoming concerned about the plight of the common man? Since when did they start becoming concerned about who goes to bed hungry and who not. Because the antecedent we've been seeing is, is it, it shows a lack of concern. You know, is it today? So people, a lot of people are not taking what they are saying. That, oh, we are speaking the interests of the common man. That is a blatant lie. Because you can't ignore, okay, the patterns. is what people are saying. Let's see, look at the conversation out there. A lot of people are saying, we can't ignore the patterns. Is it, are you all of a sudden? I mean, you know, someone said, miracle, not entire Jesus. You know, about the situation. It's a miracle <laughs> that these politicians well, today are telling well, us that they are messy, that they're interested in who goes to bed hungry. So, so are, you also, are, you, are you also making reference to this party? For weekend so situation, yeah, situation where we came out to say that the young masses are suffering. People, I was looking at the comments, and people were laughing. It's, it's, you know, do these guys take Nigerians for fools? I mean, I mean, come on. I, see, I always tell Nigerians, these guys actually think you're dumb. We're, uh, the entire country is dumb. Because of the things they do. You know, it's like they'll go back to their rooms, take out their, their cognac, their whiskey, their brandy, and Clink doesn't laugh. <laughs> this Pudos Sabi with them. <laughs> you know, you know, they, they actually think Nigerians are stupid. Know to come for you. You know, okay, okay. okay. So, so a governor who has implemented draconian rules, you know, used the police to, to harass political opponents, and, and it, it, including it, protesters, so, 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 but, Messi, who has implemented a, 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 a decrees, okay, that are, are, are seem to be anti-people, okay, decrees that are seem to stifle I mean, the I would really like to jump Pulling on this down hotels of, of, of investors, Coffee, closing Coffee, businesses. I'd really like to jump on this conversation, but we And then you're telling me that you, you, you are interested uh, in work for the people. You know, let's let that slide. <laughs> it's we, all right. We, we definitely right. have so, 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 I mean, when we talk about this. The, just in some in the sentence, all I'm saying is that a lot of Nigerians are, la are laughing at the politicians who today are telling us that they are so interested in the plight of the common man. And, and, that's, really, why, and that's why we're also questioning you know, you know, the role <laughs> of the political parties who are supposed to be playing the opposition. Because, I mean, political parties are very important <laughs> in every democracy. Um, and so you have different political parties. How come you're speaking now? What happened all the time? I mean, people have gone through a lot. Uh, some people say people have seen shiggy, too much shiggy, and uh, the extra well, shiggy. I, 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 you used to call it mass coffee. action, mass action. What, mass action? I, yeah. I talked about that now. now I, my position on protests has always been one. Protest has been a tool that people have used to demand change, change of policy, you know, demand a lot from the government. But over time, and that's what we say, and there's nothing wrong in protesting, because it's, it's, it's a, it, I mean, it's within your right uh, just as it's within your right to go out and cast your vote, it's also within your right to protest. But whatever becomes a threat to national security, whatever becomes a threat, if you constitute a threat, and that's where it's no longer a protest. It becomes a, uh, you know, something different, an attack on the state. And that's not what the, ca the case should be. So yes, people can go ahead and say we're protesting. And that's what the SPN is saying. But we're saying, if you have to go out to protest, then let it be within the ambience of the law. Because if you act contrarily, like the one we see, we're seeing people destroying stuff. That's not it. And that's not going to yield you any results. But, but, by the way, the APC presidential candidate is to, today, in today's paper, he called it on his supporters to... Uh, not to be violent regarding the narrow extension. So we, 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 we have to go now, Kofi. Yes, we really have to go. We, 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 we take a break, and when we return, we'll be right back with the papers. Please stay with us. Good morning. <laughs>